This is the seventh video in this educational series, and in this video, we are going to answer a very popular question, which is, what is a safe distance from your cell phone? Is it safe for you to sleep with it next to your head? Is it safe for you to put it on your nightstand? Well, to answer these questions, we actually are going to ask Sir Isaac Newton and review his inverse square law. At any time during this video, you like this content, please hit that like or subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Hello and welcome. My name is Ford Benning, the founder of 3Oxygen, which is a company that makes EMF blocking apparel. Right now, we only offer a men and boys line of underwear. We think this is the most pressing need of the market, given where most men and boys store their phone, which is in their front pocket next to a very sensitive area. My underwear does help protect you from the non-ionizing, non-thermal, harmful RF radiation your cell phone emits while it's in your front pocket. What happens when it's not in your front pocket? What is a safe distance from that cell phone when you are exposing yourselves to it for extended periods of time? Say, when you're sleeping. Well, let's begin to answer that question. Simply put, the further away you are from EMF radiation, the better. This holds true for both ionizing radiation, such as an x-ray machine, and for non-ionizing radiation, like your cell phone. Sir Isaac Newton actually articulated this best in his inverse square law which says that the intensity is proportional to the inverse distance squared, or in layman's terms, the further away you are, the less intense any exposure is. So this equation proves that putting your phone in your front pocket right next to your body, you are getting full exposure. Keeping that phone one foot away, that is a quarter of the exposure. Putting that phone two feet away from your body, that is one sixteenth of the exposure. Of course, it is not practical to keep your phone two feet away from you at all times, well, unless you were sleeping. So that is why it is so important for you to wear my underwear and protect those family jewels. Just ask Sir Isaac Newton himself. In closing, as always, we wanna be clear that 3Oxygen is not against technology. We love and support technology in the advancements it has brought us and will bring us in the future. You simply cannot measure the amount of good that the cell phone and the laptop have given us. However, there's a small cost to all of that good and we protect you from that cost. We want you to enjoy all the benefits of these awesome tools without having to worry about any of the side effects. Okay guys, that's it for today. If you like the content in this video, hit that like or subscribe button. Good talk and we'll see you next time.